Joining me today, we want to talk today about problem focus versus solution focus questions. This is in O'Connell's book. I'll put their link to that book in the comment section. The idea here is that with solution focused therapy, that we are creating our reality based on the language we use with ourselves, verbal and nonverbal. Uh, essentially, the narrative we focus on is what we keep maintaining or creating for ourselves. So, the idea with solution focus is let's start edging and thinking more towards change and what we would like instead of what is wrong all the time. Now, clearly there's balance in all of this and you'll check. We're going to find out about problems with these questions. Just follow me for a second here. Tell me about your problem, problem focus. What would you like to change? Okay. So not only are we learning about their problem because they're going to tell us about that, but also what they would like to change, how, what they would like to see happening in their life. How can I help you? That's a very treatment focus. That's a very power dynamic that the behavioral health professional has the power. The next question, how will you know that this session was helpful today, makes it more collaborative. It puts more, uh, it creates a more equality between the counselor and the client here. Is the problem a symptom of an underlying issue? Okay, or can we dig deeper to discover solutions? Again, this helps people thinking about where do I want to be? What do I need to let go of, to forgive, to uh, move on from, to figure out what I've learned from, and then move forward? Tell me about your symptoms. Again, problem focus. Tell me about times when your symptoms are less. We're going to find out what the symptoms are when we ask this question. We're also going to find out when they're less, and maybe we can ask about what are they doing differently? What are they thinking differently? What's going on in their lives when the problems are less? We're focusing that not the problem is not there all the time. Okay. And then last but not least, what childhood and or societal issues exacerbated your problem? The next question here is what childhood or societal events help build your resilience? By asking the solution focused question here, we find out about the childhood and societal events. It's not like we're saying, hey, we don't want to hear about that. Of course not. People, that's a great thing about therapy is just being able to tea kettle the steam out of the situation of the, that you're experiencing. But we do want to frame this as that I bet you have gained some strength just from all the stuff that you've had to go through and so forth. And yes, we'd like to wave a magic wand and make sure that none of this stuff happens again. Just all the oppression and equality, uh, childhood abuse and so forth. Um, but at the same time, we want to be looking at um, where do you want to go from here instead of just being mired in the problem 100% of the therapy time. All right, let me know your questions on this and we will talk to you on the next video. Take good care.